second class. Hi guys, welcome back to 30th part of the Arduino tutorials. In my previous two videos, I have covered the basics of 7 second display and also we have worked on increment and decrement counter. In today's video, we'll make an automatic traffic light using all the basic concepts we have learned before. So I would highly recommend you guys to watch the tutorials 28 and 29 before starting this one. I leave both the links in the description box. First I'll give the brief requirement. This is what we need at the end. So first it should start with the red light for 7 counts and for the last 3 counts there will be yellow light. And once the counter reaches 0, there should be green light for 7 counts. And yellow light for 3 counts. So this will be the sequence. For making this project, you need an Arduino board. 7 segment display, 1 330 ohms resistor, 3 LEDs, 3 10 kilo ohms resistors, breadboard and some jumper wires. All the 7 segment pins I am connecting from digital pin 2 to 8. And the common pin connecting to Arduino ground through a 330 ohms resistor. The anodes of the LED go to Arduino digital pin 9, 10 and 11 through current limiting resistors. The cathodes are connected to Arduino ground. So this is the code from my tutorial 28. I'll be adding the extra things in the same code itself. So we have the header file inclusion, object creation, pin declaration, and here is for initialization. And in the loop, we have the actual logic to print the numbers on the seven segment. We have to use these three lines more than once to print the characters in the present logic so i'll create this as a individual function so we can easily call the function whenever we need so i'll declare and define the function here it will be not returning any value so i'll keep it as void and the function name is display it will take one argument the name will be num. So this logic goes here. Now if we want to print anything we can just call this display function inside that the character or the number to be displayed. So first we'll declare the LEDs which are connected to digital pins with int data type red connected to pin 9 yellow to 10 green to 11 in the pin mode we'll set the mode of these three leds to output So first we'll start with a red light so I'll initialize the red with high using digital write so it begins with red on and now we'll start writing the logic inside the loop 
I'll take a for loop to count from 9 backwards to 0. So it starts with 9. Here I'll call the display function which we have declared already and some delay so that there is some time between the counts and give 2000 millisecond. So now on the 7 segment display the count starts from 9 and it keeps decreasing. So according to our requirement once the count reaches 3 we need LO to be high for three counts so we have to check i less than or equal to three i'll turn on the yellow led and red should turn off yeah this is the logic for red and similarly we have to write the logic for green so once the for loop completes the 10 counts from 9 backwards 0 it will exit and it will come outside so at this point we need green to turn on and yellow should turn off one more for loop for green int i equal to 9 up to 0 so first we'll display the count that is i and some delay between the counts if the value reaches 3 we'll start showing the yellow light and switch off the green one and once it completes all nine counts again it should start with a red so i'll make red as high and other two as low So that's it the code we'll upload this and see how it works so the display has already started counting from 9 in 10 counts first 7 count it will show red and last 3 counts there will be a yellow light to indicate the transition so counter reach 0 so it's switching to green light and again after 7 counts the yellow is switching on now the loop repeats with red That's it for this video. For code and circuit diagram, you can refer to the link given in the description box. And if you have any doubts, just let me know in the comment section below. Subscribe for more tutorials and also follow us on Instagram. Thank you for watching and I'll be back in another tutorial.